it's Tuesday, um, it's now tea time, I'm back from work and I'm about to make my very own sausages for the first time. These are Slimming World sausages and I'm going to make it, um, they're going to be homemade mustard sausages with calcanon, which is an Irish uh, mashed potato and um, cabbage which you um, crush together. But I haven't got any cabbage so I'm going to use kale so I think that'll be alright. So this step me, I've been taking the dog out and it's really, really windy. It's got really cold and um, yeah, it's not very nice, but it's cold here. I live in Somerset and um, it's got really cold. So anyway, I thought this would be a nice warming tea. So I have got pork mince, um, pork lean mince, um, which this is less than 12% fat. I don't know if you can get less than that I don't know I know you can get five percent le less in um, beef mince but I'm not really a connoisseur connoisseur I can't speak a connoisseur <laughs> of pork so take that as you will <laughs> anyway moving on I've got my potatoes <laughs> and you have to have how many potatoes change the come on come on Sort yourself out. Think. For the potatoes, you need a two pounds nine hundred and eight grams. So it's just for Jason and I, my husband. So I'm going to do half of that. So I reckon four hundred and fifty ish. Four hundred and fifty ish um, on the potatoes. We'll just we'll round about it. We'll just about do it. So that's three potatoes that I've got here. So I'm going to peel those and mash those. I'm going to add some kale, which I'm going to cook in a vegetable stock, water. And um, then I'm going to mash those together. So I'll, I'll show you as I go, as I go along. Um, but you don't need to see me peeling potatoes, do you? So I'll come back once I've peeled my spuds. Right, so I've got my potatoes in and they're on and um, just coming up to the boil. I've got my stock here and I've got my kale, which I'm going to add the stock to the kale, which is half a pint of stock. So I'm going to turn the, um, the ring on and get that going. And the potatoes, and I'm going to leave those to cook. Meanwhile, in a bowl, I'm going to do the sausages. So... You need pork mince and you need a pound of pork mince. What have I got here? 500 grams, so pop that in, the pork mince. Then you need four um, spring onions sliced, chopped, sliced. Pop those in. You will need two level teaspoons of English mustard, which is this this type, the Coleman's mustard. So make sure they're level because um, it could be quite strong. So I'm just leveling it off on the side. That's the mustard. And some pepper. Always looks like I'm putting loads in, but I'm not. It doesn't come out very well. So that's pepper and some salt to taste. You obviously don't want it too salty. There we go. Now, as an extra, I'm going to put some mixed herbs in because I think it would be quite nice. Because when I get my sausages from the butchers, I quite I quite like them when they're herby. So I've got a teaspoon of mixed herbs, and I'm just going to put in a few shakes of um, crushed chili flakes. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. And then all you do is add an egg to the mix. And then with a wooden spoon, well any spoon, I'm going to use a, a wooden spoon. You just 
just need to mix that all in. And then what you do is, once it's all mixed in, you then roll the mixture into um, your sausage shapes. And then you pop it in the fridge for 15 minutes to firm. Now I can see this isn't going to mix in very well, so I'm going to have to get down and get dirty and get my hands in there, aren't I? I am going to add a few more herbs, because now they've mixed in, I can see it just needs a few more. Oh, that's too many more. That's better. And I'm just going to put a little bit more pepper. And um, no, I'm not going to put any more cheese in. I shall refrain. Everything I cook is spicy. So, just clearing away a bit of a path so that I can make these sausages. So, let's have a go, shall we? Can you still see me? This is starting to boil a little bit. I'm just going to turn this down a little bit, the kale, put it on, to, turn it on to two. Ooh, so, I don't really like doing this, to be honest. It's not great. So, mix it all in. And you'll leave them in the fridge for at least 15 minutes. So, what sort of size sausage do you want? <laughs> I don't think you're going to be able to roll these. They're quite wet. <laughs> They're a bit sloppy. Oh, that's a big size. <laughs> Sorry, I'm being childish. <laughs> it is rather funny, though. Obviously, there's no skins on these sausages. So, you know, you have to do the best you can in circumstances, don't you? So, isn't that sausage like? <laughs> I'll do another one. Should we do another one? That's the dog. You see her? Yeah. So. What's that one? They need to be, try and do them as, as, you know, as uniform as you can. Would be nice, wouldn't it? To get them all, but, you know, fair in that, just do the best you can. <laughs> so there's two sausages. So I shall carry on, and I'll come back when I've, when I've finished. Well, I managed six sausages. In the recipe it says 12. I clearly like a bigger sausage. So I have six, so they are now going into the fridge for 15 minutes and then I will attempt to cook them, which should be quite amusing I imagine. We shall see. Hi, so I'm back. So my um, potatoes are finished um, cooking and I've got them um, draining on the sideboard, sideboard from the side, kitchen side. My kale has um, reduced the water, reduced down, and it's now cooked. And what I need to do is um, put that into the potatoes and then mash them um, with the um, stock as well, include that into it. And my sausages <laughs> have been in the fridge for 15 minutes, so I've just taken them out. I have um, got my George, and um, he's going to help me cook these. Because you can um, like fry them in um, dry in the oil, spray oil in a pan. Um, but where it keep, you keep having to move them to turn them, I just think that they might break up. So I was just thinking it might be better if I try them to do them in the George. So I'm going to give it a go and see where we go. I've also got some mushrooms um, that I've cut in half, so I'm going to put those on as well, um, face down. I have already spray lighted um, George, top and bottom. So if you see any oil dripping down, that's just coming off, off of um, from the spray light. So here goes with 
accent sausage. Hopefully I can get them all on. Here's quite a big George, this one. There we go. That's all of them. So what I'm now going to do is just gently put the top down. Just trying to turn my tongs just in case I need them. So I'm just going to gently put it down. I don't want to put it down because it is quite heavy. And I'm just, I don't want them to get too, squ too squashed. Right, so while they're doing, I'm going to do my potato. So that's my drained potatoes going in there. And then I've got my stock and my kale. I don't think I'm going to put all the stock in at one go. I think what I'll do is put the kale in. I add a little bit of stock because I don't want them too soppy and then I can't take it away. So I would rather add it as I go. I'm just going to add a little bit of salt to that. A pinch of salt and some pepper just here. my potato mushroom which is here and I'm going to crush my potatoes with my kale so like it says in the recipe it's cabbage um, but I, I didn't have cabbage but I did have kale and I think it's the, from the cabbage family any, anyway kale isn't it I think isn't it anyway so you don't want to over go mad. Just give them a bit of a crush through. There you go. So that's plenty. The kale does get a bit stuck, and I imagine the cabbage would too in the um, potato masher. You can get that out. I've got a bit of mushroom in there. Let's take that out. Right. So, I'm just going to add a little bit of stock to that, and then I'm going to give it a stir. Just to make sure it's all combined. That's looking good. These spoons are quite good. It's got like this pointy bit. And it means you can get, I'm going to say something really ridiculous now, but you can get in the corners of a saucepan. I know a saucepan is round. <laughs> but you know what I mean? When you're going in, you can get right sort of in and round. I just, I just, yeah. <laughs> right, so that's that. I'm going to put a plate on that to keep it warm. there. Right, just going to check on George. Oh dear. <laughs> They've all got a bit flat. Oh. So you've got like this jelly stuff out of pork. You know like when pork does that, when it's cooking? Oh. Wow. Let's get rid of that. I don't know what that is. You always get it with blooming pork. Not pleasant. These have got a bit squished. So, I said I don't need to turn them because. Um, they're cooking top and bottom because of, you know, this. 
let's tidy them up a bit. That's close up. That's what they look like. How long are you supposed to cook these for? What does it say? Just turning frequently so they are brown evenly. Check they are cooked through. So, yeah. Um, I'm guessing the only way you're gonna you're gonna get if they're cooked all the way through is if you cut one to have a look what it looks like inside. So, give it a. Yeah, that looks the same even colour all the way through. So I'd say that is that is pretty much cooked. I mean, it's not going to take long to cook anyway. There's no meat, there's no bone in there or anything. So, and it is literally mince at the end of the day. I'm quite surprised, it's pleasantly surprised that it has actually um, held together. Um, but I do think that that's helped by putting them on George. I think if you've got a George, then that's the way to go to cook them rather than trying to pick them up and turn them in the frying pan. I think that might be a bit of an issue for you. So, um, yeah. But I'm going to plate up now and I'll show you what they look like on the plate. Hi, so it's now plated up. So I've got the three flat sausages on my plate. Um, some mushrooms and some cow... Cow... <laughs> What's it called? Cow... Oh. The... Cow cannon, <laughs> Irish cow cannon. So the Irish cow cannon, the sausages, and I have put um, a um, a hundred mils of um, gravy on there, which is just the the gravy granules. I made up a hundred mils, sorry, and that's to share between the two of us. There's 136 calories in that, so that's 20. Probably about five calories, five sins rather. Four sins, maybe four sins. I'm not sure. Anyway, that's my dish. I'm hungry. I need to eat. <laughs> so if you like this recipe, give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe. Hit the little bell, and you will get um, notifications of all my videos when I do any um, in the future. I have got about twenty other. Um, videos, uh, food related videos on Slimming World um, theme um, on my channel so yeah go and check my channel out and have a have a nose and um, yeah I'll see you next time. Enjoy cooking, bye! I just thought I'd do a taste test so um, obviously it's not going to taste like a proper sausage um, it's a, think of it as a coarse sausage and it hasn't got the skin on the outside either, so yeah, there you go. Um, it's my husband says it tastes like a burger. <laughs> well, wow. he's just said it's a surga. <laughs> we call it a surga. I think he's right. We we'll stick with surga.